Now we're going to repeat this exercise with the doublets. And people usually think of doublets for their achromatic properties, but having an extra surface also lets you control spherical. So we're going to see how, what effect that has. So once again, we just have our starting system. We're going to go to the lens catalog. It's configured just the way as it was before, but this time I'm going to choose doublets and there's fewer doublets uh, available than there are singlets. I'll choose this particular one. There's not much to choose really between these two. I just chose that one and I'm going to insert that at surface number two, ignore object, okay, and close. So here's my system now and I'm just going to set this distance here to be 100 and delete the surfaces. I no longer need it. And I'll just reset this. So now what I want to see is how my uh, Gaussian beam is doing going through there and refocus this distance for my Gaussian. So I'll set this to be variable and I'm going to go here and open up the merit function editor and the operand that I want to use is called GBPS oops, S Gaussian beam paraxial size I want to measure it on surface number five uh, wavelength one the beam waist is 1.15 surface one to waste is minus two eight zero zero and you can see that it's got a value of 25 microns now so I'm just going to optimize that bring it back down and there's my value of 16 microns. So this is exactly the same spot size as the singlet lens gave me, but why would I choose a doublet? Well, let's ha again have a look at the physical optics calculation. And again, I'm just going to set this up to propagate the whole distance. This is minus 2800. Zero, zero. Beam definition Gaussian waste 1.15 by 256. But this time, when I go to the display tab, I'm going to look go straight to the cross section view of phase, and you can see that this phase profile is now got a maximum scale of 0 0.002 radians. That's an order of magnitude smaller than the phase aberrations of the singlet lens. So this lens here is effectively aberration free. If you think about this as being something of the order of lambda by 100, or sorry, lambda by 1000, this lens is really doing no aberrations of any significant form whatsoever on the Gaussian beam propagating through it.